G'day, I'm Stephen Spry and I'm trying to play this City Skylines map in Transport Fever 2. Yeah, uh, last episode I showed you how... Oh, I've got to get out of that, haven't I? I showed you how to export this height map. This is the OXG Rosteo map from Shukaboa. Bloody lovely map. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, and then we finangled the uh, image so that it'll fit into Transport Fever 2. But I'm back here because I forgot to write down the damn measurements of the highest point. Uh, that was clever, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you get that. You do. Now, get it right this time. I will. Don't worry. Highest point. Right click. Thank you. Okay, four, 950. Why couldn't you remember that? Uh, I give up. And now the other measurement that I need, 950, is the actual level here that we've got at sea level. 85. Um, where the water is? 85. 85. Okay, 85 and 950. So let's head on over to Transport Fever 2 Map Editor now and get started on importing this into that. Okie dokie, we're back in Transport Fever 2. And uh, how are we going to go here? Uh, map editor? Yep, alright, settings. We remember we're doing a very large map. Yes, a one to one format. Don't worry about the seed, doesn't matter. Um, all of these other settings, we can ignore them for now. Right, that's good to know. Um, you've got some custom settings here. I do. And basically you could ignore all of these too, pretty much. Uh, let's have a look at the advanced ones. Um, I'm going to do tropical. Yep. And all vehicles, because you can. Why not? Town names, European. Yeah, okay. Tropical. Oh, wait on. Environment tropical. Yeah, look, look, I'll explain all of this as we go. Don't worry too much about it. Mods. Okay, I mentioned in the last video about the grey vanilla. Uh, rocks in Transport Fever 2, well, this one is um, replaces the vanilla rock texture with darker rocks. Nice. What else do you want? Well, there are some other mods that I want. All I've got to do is find my list. Ah, of, of course. I also want, um, because I'm doing a lot of stuff with painting, I want better brushes. Good O. Enable that one. And what's the other one? Um, textures. This fellow um, adds a whole heap more textures as well to the game. So I'm going to enable that one too. So we have three mods at this stage that I'm going to use. So hit apply. Right. Okay. Uh, now what? Start. Start. Yep. Start. And then wait the mandatory, you know, five or ten minutes or however long it takes <laughs> for this to wait. Oh, that was quick. Almost done. And of course, uh, when you get here, you're presented with uh, uh, um, um, flat and green and nothing. Right. Okay. So, I need to import that height map that I had. Ah, you do. But, but, before I do that, I have to show you where I put the height maps that I worked on last time. Now, depending on your computer, uh, in my case, no, not that one, that fella is where I put my height maps. I found in that local folder. Where are we? Here we go. Uh, in there, and uh, in there, and in there, I found height maps, and I copied those two files that I made last time into that folder. So that now, yep, here when I click on import, I've got the two files that are available. Right, that's the original. 1081 square and my scaled up 497 
they look pretty much the same, don't they? Uh, do they? Yeah. All right. Now, range. Uh, if we want water level at zero, then Sugarboa's sea level was 85. Yep. And our highest height was, what, 950? Minus 85? Um, I'm just going to say 870. Oh, okay. Almost there. I don't see the marshes. Well, that's a bit of a poo. All right. Uh, a try 80 and tab. Ooh, almost seeing the marshes. Okay. Minus 78. There we go. Look. Well, that could work then, couldn't it? It could. So this wasn't 950. No, because his sea level was 80. So I took the 80 off the 950. Aha. So that point there. <clears throat> well, who knows? Could be 870 metres high. It could be more or less. I don't know. So what I've done is I've loaded the smaller image, imported the smaller image at this stage. I want to see what that looks like. Um, it looks a tad chunky. Yeah. Okay. But let's um, check these heights. Roger that. Um, 803 metres. That's close enough, isn't it? Yeah, I think. Now, remember this um, the palace that was over here? That was half half the height of the other one. 355. Well, it's actually 400 and something, but... Well, that was less 80. you got to take 80. Yeah, OK, all right. So, the levels probably are OK. But I'm... I'm using the wrong size map um, image, height map image. I know that because um, the game told me to use that 4097 one. So let's see what happens when I do that. Not changing anything else because we've got them right. And hit import. I want to see if this cleans up a lot. Fingers crossed, it should. Okay. Well, it certainly changed. You saw it move. I don't know if it cleaned up. What's with all the lines? All these lines. Looky, looky, all the lines. Yeah, well... Um, I'll show you what I, I will have to spend quite a few minutes off camera doing. But right now, yep, um, I'm going to use the smooth tool. I'll whack it up as big as we can go and drop that down to the lowest setting possible. Yep. And ready? I'm just going to dab, dab, dabity, dab. See? Gets rid of the lines. And on the hills, smooths them out quite nicely. Dabity, dab is right. So I have to spend a lot of time going over every single part of this map dabbity dabbing to smooth all of this out, but I don't know why they're there. I think it's just something to do with um, the way the height map works, but right now Let's make it a bit smaller and plop along the coastline. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay. Just dabity dab all the way along the edges of the water. Beaches looking good, aren't they? They do. They do, and I, I'm loving, I'm loving the sandbar arrangements that he's got on some of these beaches too. Very cleverly done, Mr. Shuka. Very 
very cleverly done with your height map. Well, this is looking okay, I think. Looks like there could be a beach there. And what do you do here? Oh, you just go up into the hills and um, smooth it off. <clears throat> so is this all this episode's going to be about, is it? Is it you're going to be clicking around and smoothing everything? And talking about various things as we do it. Yes. Oh, fair enough. Okay. So. There's obviously a lot of um, landform editing that I've got to do to make these beaches. That one works fine. But, uh, crank it back up again, mate. Go big. Big. Go big or go home. Now, I'm not going home because I'll get shot. I've only been here for 15 minutes or so. Episodes have got to be a bit longer than that. So I, I'm pretty sure you can, you can see where the the rivers run, so that you can do stuff to them. I think this. Well, you're losing some of that brown. Yeah, off the off the lower ones, it doesn't matter. But here, I think. You're not going to be building much up there, mate. I don't think I want to. You know, like, hey, they're mountains. I don't think there'd be much up there. Is there a chairlift thing? Mm, cable cars? I, no, I don't think there is. But that's not a consideration at this point in time. The consideration are the things I've got to do get it ready for publishing this map on the workshop and trying I don't I don't want to use too many mods that will force you to download if you wanted to play this map because I hate that myself <laughs> so uh, clickety clack clack see I'm not doing much I'm just cruising around if I see any stripy bits like there, maybe. No, no, no. If I see any stripy bits, I just tappity tap. And it smooths them out nicely. Fair enough. Oh, don't go there with your tappity tap at this stage. Okay, I w oh, what's happening here? Well, you haven't been here before, so the game's got to fill it in. And there it goes. Right, okay. Well, we'll keep going tappity tap. Oh, look at these sandbars. Nice work, mate. Nice, nice work. Ah, uh, keep, keep going around the coast. We'll just... We'll just do the rest of this map around the edges here. Right, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fill that in. Doesn't that look lovely? Well, you might have to do it out in the ocean too. Look, it's stripey there. Not anymore. Okay. How's that volcano? I think it looks great. What are you going to do with that? Um, don't know yet. I'm trying to decide whether it's active or dormant. <laughs> I might, I might leave that up to the um, the person who plays the game to decide. Um, there are a couple of smoke mods we could throw in there to have smoke billowing out of the the hill, but um, <clears throat> yeah, not too sure whether I necessarily want to include that in the in the base game. I don't think I do. Do I make you download a smoke mod? I don't know. How are we going? Uh, okay, sorry, I'm getting side, side 
side line side yeah it's track that's the word okay back to the water okay that was my objective at this point in time is to just go along the edges of all the waterways tap 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 easy enough to do it's you know train monkey work really <coughs> snoozy for the people that are watching isn't it that's why we have such witty commentary to keep them amused <laughs> while I do this boring stuff. Well, <clears throat> it's map making. There's a lot of, oh, I shouldn't say boring, there's a lot of repetitive stuff. Oh, more water. Yeah, there's a lot of repetitive stuff that you have to do, like this tap, tap, tap it in. Wait till you get to the point where you're plant putting trees down. Now that's a snooze fest. Can be. Or, if you do it right, it can be actually quite challenging. What do you mean if you do it right? Well, <clears throat> you've got to set up all your biomes. All my what's biomes. Put it this way. Um, there's a different sort of vegetation set that lives down here and along riverbanks yeah compared to uh, the vegetation that might live up in this area compared to here and over here so it's not just plonkety plonketing trees down all over the place fair enough you seem to know what you're talking about well, I hope so. I'm making a series and banking on it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's have a little look at that. Let's, let's before we do anything else, get out of there. Yep. And save it. Okay, what are you going to call it? Um, well, the series is OXG Ross... KO TF2. So that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to save that. Yep. Um, yeah, what about the date and everything? Look, don't worry about it at the moment. Um, we're not doing anything with towns or industries, and that we can change later. Uh, nothing will appear because I turned off industries in the settings. So all we're concentrating on here is the raw map. So let's have a look at it. Very blue. Well, let's play. Hit play. Let's play. I love the tropical maps because the waves actually work. Whoa. That's nice. Okay. Let's try my A and... D and W and all of those keys to see whether I actually can do anything. Um, yeah, okay, that that was good. No, look, don't worry about it. Don't panic. Let's just have it cruise along the coastline. Okay, spot the fish. <laughs> This coastline is actually, um, that's the ocean, is actually this rugged. There's a mountain range right along there in, in real life. Oh. Speaking of which, uh, when you get to the towns, are you going to use the Portuguese towns or are you going to um, be different? I don't want it to be uh, a replica of that area. So, just to be different, yes, I'm going to use Aussie names. Oh, right, huh? Okay, uh, wrong way. Try Q. That's the one. Now that's better. We can head up this part of the coast. That's going to take forever, Stephen. Do it, do it with the... There we go. Now, he's got a lighthouse out here somewhere. There. It's supposed to be a rock. 
poking above the water. See? Right there. But it's a bit under the water, so don't do that. God, no. Uh, bit bigger. Tap de tap. Uh, watch the height meter on the left. Okay, we've got to bring it out there. Hello. Just enough to put a lighthouse on. That should do. And a bit of smoothage around the edges. Oh. Ho. Righto. Ah. One rock for one lighthouse. Lovely. All right, let's head up the, uh, the inlet here. Okay, now in real life, uh, Lisbon stands there, so I think that's going to be our major city. Mm -hmm. Discuss all of that later. Lots of rocks around the edges, though. It's pretty steep, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's the challenge with this map. If you don't want it so steep, uh, what you could do, not that I'm going to, mind you, but you could change that to perhaps 500. You'll have to adjust the, the bottom one as well. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, no, don't, don't do it. Okay, I'll just talk a bit, oh, too late. What was it, 870? All right, if you adjust that to 500, then these won't be as high by, oh, they'll only be about two thirds as high as they are. So up to you when you're building a map to decide how steep you want the, the mountains and everything. Um, to me, that's pretty maximum steepage. I don't think I'd want more, but anyway, where were we? Uh, going up the river. Right, going up the river. This is all shipping, navigable. Well, it will be. It will become that. I'll work on that next episode. We'll just take that river all the way through. Lots of farmland here. Lots of forest. I can see forests. Uh, another little sh navigable shipping channel through there, which means we could put a a town here over over here on this island with a port in the river. Uh, a couple of inlets. Nice inlets. Got a little inlet there. I know there's a town there. I don't know if there's a port there. So we'll use a little bit of reality to help plan because. I know there's a massive port structure along here, all, pretty much all the way along that part of the coast. Um, there's another town over here. There's another town over here. Uh, so we can link them later on when you start playing the game with ferry routes and all sorts of thing, things like that. It's going to be... Ab oh, that river has got to go up there where you see the brown. This river, unfortunately, it can only go in a little way. And then the rest of it will pretend it's there by covering it with trees and doing all the same with this. Doing all sorts of little... And this one, my God. Yeah, you know, city skylines, you'd just whack a water spawn point up here somewhere and water would actually magically flow. But not in this game. Fair enough. Okay. So there we go. Step two done. Map imported. I've got to go and clickety-click all over this map now. I don't want to show you that. I mean, you, you get the idea. And if you don't, well, let's uh, just do it one more time. Ready? Smooth. Max. Min. And look at the lines. Ready, set, click. Gone. Click, 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 click. Well, that's almost as interesting as watching paint dry, so I'm glad you're not going to record the rest of the map. No, I'm not. I'm not. But did you like all of that? Yeah, 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 I did. I did like I did like that. That's pretty interesting. And the map's come up beautifully, hasn't it? It has. And because you like it, 
<laughs> Make sure, Stephen, that you click on that like button. Subscribe and, of course, ring the bell. And you can join me, Stephen Spry, next time as we continue making the OXG Rosteo map on Transport Fever 2. And until then, it's Huru from me. <laughs> and it's a bye from me. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. You know that Max Min thing with the heights was a little bit complicated, wasn't it? Sure is, but, you know, it's well worth fiddling with a couple of times to get the best result. And I, and I think we've got that. But really, you know, it's up to you. You don't want anything too steep, or the networks will be too hard for people to place when they play the game. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. What's happening next? Um, this. Mm, okay. And, and the rivers. Fixing up the rivers. Making them all navigable. Cool. Sounds like fun. It will be. So we'll see you then. Bye.